A new cannabis shop has opened in Vermont's capital city and the owners are singing the praises of their mentors who have helped them along the way. NBC5's Adrian Pastor has more on the Cannabis Fellowship Program helping to pave the way for new businesses in Vermont. As we approach the second anniversary of recreational cannabis here in the Green Mountain State, there's been a lot of shops popping up all across our region. And while the industry can seem a little competitive, this shop here in Montpelier says it would only have been made possible through the collaborative work of other folks in the industry. Cynthia Lovo Arayas is loving the sound of success. <laughs> This musical duo is celebrating the opening of their first cannabis shop. Juana's Garden is ready to make its mark on the retail cannabis industry. I never thought that I would be a business owner. Like, that was like my wildest dream. Born in Colombia, Lovo Arayas says the idea of owning a business seemed unattainable. The drug cart cartels and guerrillas and extreme po poverty and violence. Uh, was all around me. But with the support of her mentors at Zen Barn Farm in Waterbury, the first seeds of Juana's garden began to grow. We started to implement our cannabis generation equity fellowship program that really focused on people's individualized needs and then pretty much filtering it out to the resources that we had. Zen Barn Farms has been in the cannabis business since 2020. Hoping to share their knowledge with others, they launched the Cannabis Generation Equity Fund, which helps people of color start their own businesses in the industry. My parents had an outreach ministry growing up. I'm a preacher's kid, so no matter how old you get, you're always your parents' little kid. But uh, they would always say, each one, teach one. They've taught us to really believe in the product and just make everything possible, like make everything in your power to just like put it out there to spread the knowledge, to spread the education. Along with their own notes for the next generation of retailers. And while Juana's Garden has only been open for a number of weeks, they say their ultimate goal is to pass the knowledge forward, helping to grow the cannabis industry all across the Green Mountain State. In Montpelier, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.